Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for being clickbaited. Allow me to tell you how much I suck at checking enemy items. It is such an important skill in Dota 2 to collect information so you can then make the correct response to that information you've gathered. And I am just like, nah, it's not for me. I like to blindly stumble my way through a Dota game and hope it works out. Now, based on your instincts, that might work for a while, but if you're like me, not gathering enough information, you're gonna hit a wall where you make some mistakes because you're just guessing at what you need to do. So for example, here we're chasing this disruptor, looking for a kill, and I am traumatized by cores being mad when I kill steel. So I thought, oh, one hit left. I'll let Brewmaster get it. I thought I was gonna be next level. No time wasted. Head straight back to the lane. Go harass that Sven. Super next level, right? Except someone super next level would have checked the inventory to see that disruptor had a fairy fire, and he even had a magic stick with a couple charges. And because of that, I have to turn around, I never catch up in time, and he successfully denies himself. And on this walk of shame, back, the smurf here is flaming me. Actually, to his credit, it wasn't full flame yet. He got mad later, but for now, it's like chastising me. He pings my fairy fire. He's like, you have a fairy fire? He had a fairy fire. Don't you know how this works? You can't turn around and go home when he has this. You have to follow through. And I was like, uh, yeah, you're right. I can't even defend myself. He's totally correct. And it's not even just empty flaming, guys. If you watch his perspective, he does this. He checks, keep your eye here, he checks the disruptor's inventory very quickly and knows he has to follow through. And that's how he knows I didn't do that because it was so obvious to him, he did the right thing. And if you've ever watched a pro player's perspective, it's kind of like that as well, where it's a little disorienting. They're like snapping around the map, clicking things, snapping back to the hero, going here, all that. And it's confusing to us because we're not the player, we're not prepared for it. But they are looking at the minimap, looking at the health, the mana, the items here, figuring out what threat do they have to me? What is the upcoming threat? They're gathering this information. And if you know enough about the game, you can then use that information to make a correct decision. I think I'm pretty good at the game. I think I can make a lot of correct decisions given the right information. But if I don't take that information, I everything else is just a blind guess. And sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it won't, and that's what happened to me. So for the next couple weeks, or however long it takes, I don't care if I win or lose games, I am challenging myself to just enter every single game. I'm gonna check items. I'm gonna click these heroes all the time. It's gonna help me. I'm gonna see he's working Battle Fury, BKB, things like that. This support has wards, oh, they're gone. There must be some wards somewhere in this area. He has a fairy fire, follow through, things like that. You know how it goes. So if you're like me and you don't do this, join me with this. Let's do it for the next couple of weeks, couple of months, work on building good habits. Because improving at Dota is not just winning or losing. It's really just building these habits that make you a better player and the wins will come after that. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Feel free to join me. And if you follow on Twitch, I even finally added a channel points reward where you can help me, what a twist, improve at Dota by reminding me to check enemy items. I might just need that help to build this habit. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.